Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you how to join our VoiceThread activity and you'll see in Unit 7 under Activities you will have this link so click on it and then click on the link here so that it can take you into our VoiceThread activity on the image of the child. Remember you need to create your own VoiceThread account before you participate in this activity. Okay, so this is our image of the child activity and to add your picture, go to edit up here and then click on edit and then you'll come into our main op options here. The first one as you can see is our title slide and then this one here is current slide and by the time you load yours is probably going to be a few other, other slides. So just click on the upload button um, I'm going to source my picture from the computer. You can go to media sources or go direct to a web link. I always like to choose my pictures before. Please make sure that uh, there is no copyright infringement with the pictures that you choose. All these pictures that I have in my resource section are from Creative Commons so that uh, we're able to share them. Um, you will notice in the resource section of our Moodle Unit 7, I have provided several links um, that you can use to Flickr Commons, uh, Creative Commons. Uh, there's a couple of websites where you can get images from. Of course, the best is always just to take your own photograph, but we don't always have the opportunity to get the picture that we want. So again, we're just waiting for this to load. Once you've loaded your picture, you will have the option when we do the commenting section, you can either write it as a text or if you prefer, you can also do the audio where you just record it. Um, video is offered, but I find that it does tend to make the voice thread lag a little, especially um, in a group like ours where we all are adding our slides. So we should be done. We're almost ready to get the picture up and loaded. Just 10 seconds, that's not so bad. I guess it'll still need to upload. Move that over to the side. Looks like we're almost done. All right, there's my picture. So I need to click on it so that it's selected on this side so I know which one I'm editing. So I'm going to click a title here and I'm going to just put print. If you would like you can put your name there so that we know this is your image of the child and now I'm going to <coughs> provide a comment. <coughs> so as you can see because I'm logged in my pictures here so here's the comment part click on that. Um, let's say I'm going to type something first so you can do it with through type. Uh, children leave there. Okay, and I'm going to save it. Um, you can always later on, if you don't like what you've written, you can edit it or you can throw it into the trash. So let's now try a recorded one. So I'm going to. I don't know why it's doing that. So we go there because we don't want to. I somehow lost my image. So you just find your image again, work only with your image at this point. So we're going to record, allow Adobe. This is the picture that I've chosen to represent the image of the child. In my view, children go through life and they leave their footprint because each child is individual and unique. Okay, so now it's just loading that. This is the picture that I've chosen to represent the image of the child. In my view, children go through life and they leave their footprint because each child is individual and unique. So if you like it, click save. Now it's saved. Okay, and that is that is all there is to it. So again, um, enjoy adding your threads to our voice thread. <laughs> Interesting, thread to our voice thread. 
and then we'll take a look at our group project at the end. Remember afterwards we're going to go through all the different uh, images and everybody's going to add comments onto those.